that's gonna do it from the Arctic Triumph. Mm -hmm. Next stop, Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Um, the Eiffel Tower is not open right now. It opens in July. Yes. And so, uh, luckily, we did here. We went to the roof or the yeah the top because since the Eiffel Tower, we don't get those ravishing views up there. That's we got right. the ravishing views here at the Arctic Triumph, which is pretty cool. Yeah. In case you're wondering, we were way up there, uh -huh. at the very top. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So and next, we, and next we survived. Yes, we did. Eiffel Tower. We're on the bus. Yes, on the big bus. Mm -hmm. Three stops is the Eiffel Tower, but we got a great view. We did get some good shots though. We did. We got off the big bus. We missed it again. The opera house is already yeah, closed. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. It's 4 p.m. and yesterday they said 4.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. But I don't maybe, know. I don't know. Maybe their capacity or something. We're not sure. But we're gonna. We need something to eat. So we're gonna go walk around and see where we can get a bite. We're looking for a place to eat, and right across the street is Cafe Five Guys. Looks interesting. <laughs> Last time they gave us a spoon too, which I thought it was kind of interesting. We got a good view for lunch. We do. in there the cheese on top it's great char is there anything on the bottom bread lovely bread very great from cutting the burger is the bun is super soft. It has a good cutaway. Looks like we got some tomato, some Thousand Island or special sauce, lettuce. And that's it. Let's go for a bite. The burger is super juicy for the sauce because it's like dripping everywhere. 
the patty itself is not seasoned. Funny. So I definitely could use some salt and pepper. Maybe it's their style over here. But the sauce gives it gives the burger a good flavor as a whole. But yeah, it's an unseasoned patty. Interesting. It's a good cheeseburger though. get them of course when you're here right again they have these backwards maybe you're supposed to go this way here let's take my little oh. by the time I learn how to use these we're gonna be going home okay get my little snail out it's good to taste different versions of yeah. our escargot there we go dip it in that sauce. Again, it's like the pesto kind of oil garlicky. It's almost the same type as like the other food. Let's try these out. Mm. The snails are super fresh, not chewy. Tastes like the other place actually. Snail, does it really have a taste? Not really. Um, Texture-wise, like then it's like a clam, but it's not it's not a chewy clam, texture-wise. Snails don't really have a taste, but you really pick up that pesto and that and that garlic and that um butter in it. It's pretty delicious. If you're able, if you want to try it, you should try it. It's good. We made it to Moulin Rouge. Yeah, but it's not quite open yet. But no. it's kind of a good walk to go see it again. And you guys will catch a show. Yeah, well, at least the windmill works. It's a good thing. Football, which is actually soccer here, is super big. You can see that Netherlands is playing right now and everybody's wearing their colors. We made it to the Weppler Cafe. Uh -huh, right outside, uh, it's kind of down the block from Moulin Rouge. Yes. So we're just chilling, we are. in the sides. Beautiful day. It turned out it's supposed to be raining. It turned out to be a beautiful day. Have oh it. yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny because when we looked uh, before coming to Paris, it was like 90% rain all week. Uh, rain and thunder. Yeah, but as you know, it's sunny. Mm -hmm. It is. So we got a couple of cappuccinos and we yeah. ordered a creme brulee because uh, that's one of your favorites. That's my favorite. Let's see, how does it taste here in Paris, babe? Your first time, right? My first time, creme brulee. I'm ready, let's see. Oh, it's hard. So you got this. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, good. Yes, try it out. There we go. Nice and creamy. Extremely creamy. Light in flavor, but all the flavors are there vanilla not on the eggy side which is really good it's not a custard um i like the little charred sugar on top you can taste that little chard and it's a lot it's a crunchy and it's chewy this is a pretty dang good creme brulee for someone for some place that we just kind of sat down are you sure you're not being influenced that you're uh, sitting at an outdoor cafe no, in paris but if it's a if it's a if it's not as good i tell you <laughs> Everybody uses scooters here, and it's the most smart cars we've seen. They're small cars. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You hear that? Yep. Those are the scooters. It's almost 10 p.m. Look outside. It's still light. Yeah, you would never know. It's almost 10 p.m. But we decided to have dinner here at our hotel. Uh, last time we went out, when we stayed at a different hotel, we went out to go look for a good steak dinner, and it was okay. But someone had mentioned in the hotel was the best steak they had. So we're going to try the food here at our hotel. We never try hotel food. We, we actually try. ordered some Japanese ramen. We did. Yeah.
We both got the same uh, tonkotsu ramen. This is the first time ever I've seen a ramen such in a shallow bowl. Very shallow. Mm -hmm. And also, because they're with a little French bread. First time, ramen and the French bread. Unfortunately, there's no chopsticks here. So we have to go with a spoon and let's just taste the broth out. Well, it's not the tokotsu that we're used to uh, in Japan or in, back in the States. It's a little bit on the sweet side. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't taste too much porky goodness. Just um, kind of like a, like a sweet soup. Uh, I know that kind of sounds weird, but it's actually not too bad. Just don't call it tokotsu ramen. Just, on Paris ramen or something, it's gonna be okay. Okay, I'm trying this ramen portion out. Let's see how it is. I know, they don't have chopsticks again. Mm. And the thinner noodles. Um, doesn't pick up the flavor that we're used to uh, ramen at home. It doesn't taste instant though, so that's a good thing. Go in to this ramen with an open mind and you'll be fine. For Bill and I, we're going with our mind of we know how it tastes. But with an open mind, it's okay. It's got a couple pieces of uh, pork in it. Yeah, big pieces though. Yeah. And thick. And how much were these? These are 14 euros. 14 euros, yeah. So not, not cheap. No. Yeah. That's going to do it. Yeah, for tonight, at least. Yeah, uh, actually, the saving grace of that ramen was the pork. It was very good piece of pork. That had a lot of flavors. That it was did. good. It did. And we're not extremely hungry, so that was actually a perfect portion for us. For yeah, so it finally got dark. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what, 10.30 uh, Yeah, it's like almost that. 11 o'clock. Yeah. Yep. Yep, we have so, an early day tomorrow, so we're gonna go ahead and go navy. Yep, and we'll see what's up for breakfast. Yep. Maybe here at the hotel. We'll see. Good afternoon. Hello. This is our last full day here in Paris. Yep, and we decided to walk the Champs Elysees. Never, we usually never walk it because we're on the big bus or something. But now we're gonna walk it. Look at the stories. You got an eatery, and then right down the block is the Louvre. Walk to the Louvre and see what else we can go. Yeah, a day of exploration. Yep. Let's see what we do and see. Yep, it's gonna be fun. This is what we're looking for. They have a lot of branded stuff here for Paris, for Disney. So it's pretty cool. Cuts, shirts, everything. Well, we notice there's a lot of like big name retailers here. There, mm -hmm. like the a, expensive ones. Like a Louis Vuitton and um, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, is that Louis, it? Louis Vuitton. Oh, Vuitton. You can tell I'm not a Louis Vuitton person. Um, Chanel, Tiffany. It's all down Christian Dior. It's all down uh, Champs Elysees. So we'll walk around. Uh, I know we're gonna eat somewhere. We just don't know where, huh, babe? There's a Five Guys over there. No Five Guys. What? No five guys, this McDonald's is. Nice seating and everything. Wow. And it even has outdoor dining. This is a fancy one. It's a fancy one. We're getting a combo just to share here at McDonald's. Let's just try their foods and they serve here for the drink. Not bad.
It's a, this on the second story. Mm -hmm. And it's quiet up here. So we're looking for a spot where we won't bother everybody. It's super nice though. Mm -hmm. What we like to do sometimes is to check out other McDonald's to see if a Big Mac tastes the same as the ones we get in the States. So we got their Big Mac meal. This is their deluxe fries. Mm -hmm. It's uh, fries with herbs. Yes, fries with herbs, but they basically look like tater tots. Mm -hmm. And we have some special um, herb sauce. I think it's two different kinds here. Mm -hmm. And their ketchup. Let's see what the Big Mac is. It looks there like a regular go. Big Mac. Yes, it mm -hmm. does. It smells like a Big Mac too. Mm -hmm. And this is their large drink. Yeah, no straws. They no. come in like a drinkable cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's try this out. About the same size. In fact, it's exactly the same size as the Big Macs we're used to. Here we go. Good old Big Mac. It's good. What makes it is that the bun is extremely soft and fresh. That always makes a sandwich or a burger every time you got fresh buns. They have regular fries too, but we thought we'd try the herb fries. So those are the tater tots. Here we go. This is ketchup. To me, it tastes like a thousand island. And then they had a creamy deluxe. So let's try this creamy yeah, deluxe. Mm. Creamy deluxe. Mm. Crunchy. The creamy deluxe tastes like a tartar sauce. Mm-hmm. This one? The green one is for the pommes frites, which is these. This one and like a thousand. Mm -hmm. Thousand island. And then regular ketchup. Little pro tip, if you are into this stuff here and you're visiting Paris, you carry your passport with you because I believe they don't charge you taxes when you show your passport. You know, it's safe to drink uh, tap water here in Paris. They even have water dispensing ones, but these behind me are for the five gallon jugs. You stand right there, you go, ah, <laughs> fill it up, check it out. <laughs> I don't think so, babe. I don't think so. I don't think so, babe. <laughs> so from the Arc de Triomphe, which is down at this end, it's about a half a mile or so, maybe a mile of shops and restaurants and everything. Then you come to a point where it's a bunch of parks and green spaces going to the Louvre. Another maybe half a mile or a mile. Not too far. It's a good walk. A pretty, pretty day. Gotta do it. Gotta enjoy. A little story time where we just saw yeah. there's a tour guide uh, with a bunch of students or something. Mm -hmm. Typically, they have the little uh, flags. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. fiberglass pole with the red triangle flag. So you can follow the tour guide. Yeah, around. yeah, but this tour guide had a what? Had two baguettes. Yeah. So I thought <laughs> it was pretty cool. Only the baguettes. I love it. Yeah, only in Paris. But that, that's, that's like the best way. Yeah, true story. I, I like it. it. <laughs> yeah. It's a more tidbit Tuesday. Happens to be a Tuesday. There's Charles de Gaulle. That's where they named the airport after. We're heading over to the Champ. Uh, we're heading over to the Louvre. Right next to the Champ Elysees is this really nice park. Be sure when you come to Paris, you take some time out to just visit the park, and there's tons of seating. Making our way to the Louvre, which yeah. is uh, straight back that way. Yeah, pretty cool. There's a bunch of kids here. This is their field trip. They have pieces of paper. Probably have to see which which all the sculptures are out here. So much history. Yeah, a okay. lot of kids out here today. Oh, yeah. What is that supposed to be? It's art. Look it up. little shelter from the uh, rain. No, it's sprinkling. Yeah, so we hit this little outdoor cafe along mm -hmm. the same walkway. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. We have, uh, what is this? These are called? Uh, Kafule. Kafule. I said Kafule yes. cheese or something. It's either cherry or apple. apple. But cherries are in season. Yes. So it's cherries. Yes, it's warm. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Look at that. Can you um, have, what kind of coffee? I have a coffee with whipped cream. Yes. A and Viennes, a cappuccino. And a cappuccino. Let's try this out. So all of the desserts are homemade here, babe. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Good pieces of cherry in there. Mm. There's a lot of cherry. Cherries are a little bit tart, but the dessert's a little sweet. No taste. Not quite like a custard. It's like a almost like a soft cake. This is right here. There's like a cake that's been soaking in some like cherry juices. So it's like a it texture is like a soft cake. Very cherry, very good. I go perfect good for my coffee. Not on the sweet side at all, but there's just, just a little bit of sweetness. So these will be perfect. Probably be better with the scoop of vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. Go a la mode on yeah. it. We made it to the Louvre Museum. Just like that. Yes, it's right behind us where that the pyramid is. That's one of the entrances. There's a little line getting in, so we're not gonna go into the museum, but we're gonna just walk around outside. Yes, we were here the last time, but about three years ago. Yeah, we and we inside. waited like almost three hours for that Mona Lisa. Yeah, we That did. was crazy mm -hmm. and never again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this trip, or actually today, we're just walking around, taking in the sights, enjoying ourselves, lovely weather. Uh, we're not going to hop into any museums on this trip. Yes, but if you want to see the Mo uh, the Mona Lisa, check out the previous Paris vlog yeah. from three years ago. Yeah. And we'll show you all the hectic uh, Stuff lines. Stuff going on, yeah. Right? Yeah. Now we have to jump off this platform. Yeah. The Louvre is open. Be sure to buy your tickets, most likely online. I don't know if they sell them here at this location. But if you're an art person, just be aware the Louvre is very big. For us non-art people, uh, it took us about a half a day, but if you're an art person, this is how big the Louvre is. And he didn't even pan, it's actually even across the street. Yes. So yeah, it'll take a while. It'll take a while, yeah. Where are we for lunch, babe? We are about a quarter mile from the Louvre at Bistro Victory. I'm pronouncing that completely wrong, I know. Um, but it was mentioned by one of my friends that we should come here for duck confit. Yes, it's right there in the mm -hmm. corner. And there are several people that mentioned that we should get duck confit while we're here in Paris. Yeah, I never had it, so I'm down. Yep, I'm ready. As recommended, we got the dunk cone feet. It's cooked in its own fat for hours. This is what it looks like. It smells really good. Let's try this out. You can see that crunch in that skin. There's the duck. Get a little bit of that skin right here. Got a little bit of the duck and the skin. Mm. The skin is crunchy. Duck is perfectly cooked. You can really taste the richness, richness of that duck. The skin is seasoned, perfectly seasoned. I can tell it's a little bit salt. That. Those are this meat. 
tender and juicy, not dry at all. And look at this bone. When does it come out like that? This is excellent. Thank you for the recommendation. So good. We had to get the escargots again. We tried it at two other places. This, this will be the third one. We love to see all the different types of uh, methods they have. This one was advertised as a parsley butter. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there we go. It's a big one. Yes. Dip it into that parsley butter. Mm -hmm. And they gave us some uh, French bread right here on the side. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Is it hot? They were it is hot. Bubbling on the way out, babe. Yeah, it's it's cooked a little bit more than some of the, the other two. So it's like semi chewy, but great flavors. Well, that parsley butter is uh, very unique. Not too strong on the parsley, but very strong on the butter. It's really good. I like it. My turn for this duck confit. First time. It's, it kind of smells like um, like a roast duck at a Chinese restaurant. But that, that's the only other place that I had duck. So here we go. And these are fried potatoes. No, yeah, these are really good. I know duck confit is a style of French cooking. But man, if you put some chow mein and fried rice with this duck, I would not think otherwise that we would be in a Chinese restaurant. Which is good. This is a very, very good duck. I love that crispiness of the skin. And you're right, it has a little bit of salt on that outside. It's delicious. Mm, so tender. Having snails a lot on this trip, or escargot on this trip. And they've been all very consistent. Let's dip it in that oil for the rest out in the shell. Oh, not that much in the shell. Here we go, with pizza bread. Mm. Mm. So far, we've had it three times. Consistent, all three times, delicious. That parsley butter really makes it for those snails and to match with the bread. It's excellent. When you come to Paris, you gotta try those nails. You'll love them. We were just walking by and we came across this church. Mm -hmm. It was open. Yep, it's under renovation, but it's still beautiful inside. So we had a few pictures, a few videos of it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, baby. Yeah, it was. It was yeah. so quiet. We didn't say anything. We just yeah. kind of shot some footage in there. We did. Passing by this McDonald's, if you're a fan of fish and wasabi, McDonald's has it for you over here. Look at that wasabi. Even a wrap with it. First time you've seen it. Only in Paris. That's one thing we've noticed. When the sun is out and the yeah. weather is nice, the locals are out. They are walking around. This place is busy. Yes. I mean, this is a major train station. Chalet de Halles. I don't know how to pronounce that. But this is a major train station and there's people out. There's people eating and enjoying the weather. It's just wonderful. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, he'll give you a look around. As we're walking around, we see this historic monument. It's kind of cool. It's really tall. Huh? Yeah, super tall. I got the crook madame. Look at this. It's a art of artwork. It's an art of artwork. <laughs> Perfect egg, fried egg, cheese, toast, two layers of toast with ham right here. Uh, if you look behind me, there's a game that's going to start. Uh, football game. A football game. That's where it's so loud. Here. So it comes with a side salad and french fries. Well, this is our last dinner here in Paris. Here we go. There we are. Perfect, perfect egg yolk right there. Let's give this a try. I don't know what kind of cheese. We got some melted on top of this toast. But it's perfect. Just the right amount of saltiness on that cheese. I know that the ham piece that I just tried was very small, but I could still taste it. And it looks like they gave me like a couple layers of ham. See that? Wow. This is a um, this is the first time I ordered a cook with ham here in, uh, in in Paris. So it's kind of nice to have the real thing compared to some of the ones that I've had before back in the states. But this is very, very good. And you know, this is just a side salad and fries, so so we're good with that. And this is the start of the dish right here, the cook and down. I got the poulet, which is their chicken. It looks really good. It's a whole side, look at that. Here is the sauce, let's taste the sauce first. Oh, that's very good. You can taste, you can taste the wine in that sauce which is really good. Good pieces of chicken, get it in that sauce. Mm. Excellent chicken, perfectly seasoned. That sauce has some sort of wine reduction, as you can tell. And it comes with fruits, which is fries. Here we got beef bone marrow. You gotta try it while you're here in Paris. I already got a little bit, I already got a little bit here. They gave me some salt. And I already sprinkled some salt on there. Mm. Excellent. It's really it really tastes like beef butter. You can really taste the beef in that bone marrow. It's very good. Finally made it back to the Citizen M Hotel. We did. That was a fun three days. Huh, it babe? was a fun three days. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any hot tips? Oh, hot tip. Um, when you go to the restroom, and it's called, it's not called the restroom or the, uh, what head. Else? head or anything like that. It's called the toilet. Yes. So if you're in an area and you want to know where it is, then just ask where the toilet are. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, and what uh, else? Yeah. Another big tip is when you visit a big city like Paris or any mm -hmm. other place, don't plan more than one or two things to do yeah. on your itinerary. Otherwise, it could be overwhelming, especially if you're traveling with a family, with yeah. kids. And also if you're traveling right now, only because everything takes right now for the museums, at least, not the restaurants, but uh, the museums take reservations. And even with the reservation, you still have to wait in line. And the traveling to the city is crazy. We've traveled this morning. It took over an hour um, because we didn't take the train. Uh, so you have to allow time for all of that. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, so I mean, like, if you're gonna go see the Louvre, the Louvre takes like, if you're a, again an art person, it's gonna take a day at least. Um, anything like that, you want to spend time. You want to spend time going to an outdoor cafe and just 
taking in the sights and you want to spend yeah. time just slow things down doing a little bit those things and so you don't want to rush from here to here to here to there that's right so. because paris is a beautiful city it is so much nice architecture buildings mm -hmm. you got to just kind of slow down and take it all in You're right and it just opened so it right now it's really crowded so if you have to take time for everything yeah have mm -hmm. some patience have some patience yeah. well thanks for everybody for watching our paris vlogs we had a great time over here we we'll did. be back again yeah we'll be until then we'll catch you guys in the next one